Hello YouTube and fellow Pokemon fans, welcome to my games room. So today is a first for my channel, I'll be doing a pack battle versus Bro Gaming TCG. Really pumped and excited for this one, um, as it is my first. Um, we'll be doing a Solgaleo and Lunala tins. Um, I'll be representing Solgaleo and Bro Gaming um, TCG will be doing the Lunala tin. So if you're more of a fan of um, Solgaleo, clearly it's the better one. So <laughs> um, yeah, let's support me. Um, but their channel, so they've um, got a really nice channel. They do um, lots of like card analysis, um, deck analysis videos, loads of different like pack battles versus other YouTubers as well. They're really, really entertaining to watch. And then some of the videos where they're having banter against each other, so the Jane Gator, um, that is quite hilarious to watch and quite entertaining. So if you've not come across their channel, definitely go give them a watch. I'll um, link an iCard at the end of the video and down in my description as well. So you can go over and check them out and check the, the videos and see who wins or doesn't win. Um, the points for the actual things, I think it's pretty standard. So the reverse rare will be one point. Hollows will be two. GX cards themselves will be three points. The full arts will be four. Then any secret rares or rainbow rares will be five points. Um, so I think that's pretty standard across most battles. Um, but yeah, I think that's it really. So let's get on with it. And if you're Solgaleo, <laughs> well, anyway, let's get on with it. Okay then, so this is the tin itself. Looks pretty cool. I do love the Solgaleo. <laughs> it's nice. I'll just give you a quick scan of the front. There you go. So we got Solgaleo on the side, all the different energy types, Lunala. <laughs> Um, yep, yeah, there's a the thing. I'll just give you a quick scan of the back. I'll just refocus that for you. There you go. So the actual pack contains a foil version of Lunala and Solgaleo. So I'll have the Solgaleo one. Um, Bro Gaming TCG, they'll have the Lunala one. Um, the actual art style is meant to be different to the actual one you get out of the boxes. Or the Sun and Moon pack, shall I say. Um, but yeah, so let's get on with it, let's open it. This is the actual card that you get, the promo version of it. Refocus. Right. So from what I can tell, it is exactly the same. The only difference it being is that it's SM Pro um, 16. Um, the artwork is entirely different as well, because I do have the one out of the main set, as you can tell. Yeah, that works pretty decent. Pretty different, should I say. I think I actually do prefer it. It's, uh, it's cool. So yeah, alright, so that's the actual um, promo card you get with it. But I'll leave that at the back. Um, you then get four packs in the tin as per usual. So we got the two Sun and Moon, a Breakthrough and an Evolutions. So I shall do the Sun and Moon first and finish off with Evolutions. Because that's the, my favourite pack and what actually got me back into Pokemon TCG in the first place. So yeah, so let's go. Alright. So yeah guys, don't forget to um, have a look at their um, their channel and the opposite video of um, of this one. Opposite video? Yeah, <laughs> check out their video basically. And then um, drop in the comments like who you think won, um, who do you think got the best cards and whatnot. Open the sun moon out. Yeah, we're going to do that. Oh god, brain's already melting, it's not good. I have to do maths as well. <laughs> if I get any points anyway. So anyway, let's start it off instead of mumbling like a crazy person. So we have um, Fairy Energy. We start off with a Baldor. Timer Ball. Brion. A Young Goose. Shelver. Zubat. A Poplier. Stuffle. A reverse is a Tratini, which is just a common, and a rare is a Beware, non hollow. Okay. So, no point yet. 
Okay, let's open up the second cinnamon pack. Okay. So we got darkness energy, a clipper, a repel, a corsola, a robin, a fero, snubble, sundial, a picky peck. A reverse is a rappel, which is just a uncommon, and our rare is a two cannon. Of course. <laughs> So the movie, I have no luck with it at all. I tell you, I've opened up so many and only managed to get three jacks out of everything I've opened, but that one touches. So we're um, moving on to break food. Okay. So we've got a Starly, a Fennekin, a Flutter Bay. A Sandshrew, a Cubo, a Cap... Capturu? Oh my god, I can't even say this! Oh dear, that's embarrassing, I'll just move along. In shame. <laughs> we got a Mewtwo Spirit Link. A Vanilla-ish, a vanilla -ish. Our Reverse is a common um, Swinob. And our Rare is... Ba -ba 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 a Houndoom EX! Oh my god, that is so cool! I've seen a few people open this and not seen it myself. Really, really good for mill decks is this one as the actual move discard the top two cards from your opponent's deck. But yeah. Um, so I believe that's three points on the board. Yes. I'll just sleeve it up. I have a minute. To the back, looking over my song below. Alright, so Evolutions is our last pack. Hopefully, we can get some last pack magic. Some excellent cards in this one. Like, um, loads of like different breakthrough break cards in it as well. Um, I wonder if you actually do this pack any different. I'm not sure. Um, okay, we'll see. So, um, yeah, so this is like a reprint of the original um, base set, uh, which I played. Wow, that was a wee really little nipper, um, but loved it, saw that it re-released and I've come back to play it, and now here I am. So there we go, Voltorb, Essentrue, Polywag, all oh, the artwork, I just, I love it, it's, it's so cool, it's so nostalgic. The Polyworld, Revive, we got a Slowbro Spirit Link. Oh, Needle King, my favourite Pokemon, oh my god! Yes! I don't know if break cards actually mean anything or not, I have no idea. <laughs> I'll have to ask them. So if you see the point value go up, you'll know I found out after recording the video, but oh my Needle King, what a beast. Let me just get a save for this. Yeah, the many, many varieties of like, Pokemon I've ever played. Nidoking King has always been my favourite Pokemon. Not very competitive in any way or anything, but just love it. It's great. When I was um, a child, I actually did go to a Pokemon competition and um, I used Nidoking King with Horndrum and I just kept spamming that. It's like a terrible um, way of going about it, but I did manage to get quite high in the tournament. Dirty, that's all I can say. And um, our last card is an electrode. So, um, yeah, not too bad um, a tin there for me. So, um, just do a quick review. So, we've got the Nidoking, King, which I was doing my daily screaming over. I'm not sure if it's worth any points. But then we did also get a Houndoom EX. So, yeah, that's pretty nice. So, it's definitely three points on the board for me. So um, good luck to Bro Gaming TCG. Um, let's see what they managed to get out there. Lunalitin. So yeah, I'll leave it at that. Right, I really hope you enjoyed that one. That was pretty cool. Um, pretty overjoyed with that one from the first pack battle as well. Um, really excited, pretty pumped for this. So yeah, it was fun. Um, really, really happy with that Nido King. Oh, can't believe I managed to get that. That was really cool. Um, so yeah, so um, go check Bro Gaming's um, TCG's um, video. Um, I'll link the in an iCard above. Um, there will be also a link to their channel in the description. But um, yeah, go give their video a watch. 
drop in the comments um, what you liked about the pulls, who managed to get the better ones, etc. And um, go Sol Galeo. Why are you still here? Go watch them. Go. Go. <laughs>